Hi, and welcome to Taro Movies. In this video, I want to try those arrowheads by building a simple but efficient two-stick bow. This card is from my very good friend Detlef from Bushcraft Essentials, who has sent it to me to give it a try out here in the mountains. And if you like to see if it works, please join me. When I have received the arrowhead card, I thought I'm taking it with me to be able to be the bow and the arrow in an emergency. So what I did is I took some rope as a bowline and wrapped some tape around it, which I use later on to stabilize the arrows. So for the arrow, I'm looking for a straight stick of dead wood, which is not that flexible anymore, like a fresh one. So that looks not really beautiful, but that's all what I could do here under real conditions. Let's try to put the arrowhead on the stick. So that's actually our arrow, so let's check out if it works. And now it's time to build our two stick bow. Here I was looking for two ash sticks in about the same size and with the same diameters. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Because it's such a simple two-stick bow like this one here, it's very important that you tie the two thicker diameters together and have the thinner diameters on the end of the bow. As I mentioned before, they should have the same size and about the same diameter and then you will have a nice bending over the whole length of the bow. Let's give it a try. After a few tries, I'm getting more and more used to this bow. And over a distance of about 20 meters, I hit the target strong enough to put the arrowhead straight into the wood. If you have a bit more time and a campfire, you can dry the wood of the arrow over the flames and straighten it a little bit better. If you want to adjust the power of the bow, just choose a thicker diameter or shorten the length. But to be honest, a successful hunt in a survival situation with a simple bow like this is very, very difficult. It needs a lot of experience and practice. So, as you have seen, I needed many, many tries to get more and more precise. And in a true survival situation, you're probably better off if you build with an arrowhead card like this, just a simple spear, which is easier to make, less effort, and you have probably the same result. So the arrowhead actually worked very well and I'm sure with a professional bow and arrow you can do some serious hunting with it. I put some more information about the card, my use gear and myself beneath in the description box of the video. And I hope you will join Tauro Movies the next time again, hopefully under better weather conditions. So thanks for watching, tschüss, ciao and bye bye.